Squint eye or deviation in the eyes is eyes when they are not parallelly aligned. Both the eyes are expected to be in parallel alignment where they see in the same visual direction. So this results due to various causes. Commonly, it can be congenital, that means present at birth, neurological because of damage or disruption to the nerve supply to the muscles of the eyes or it can be a directly a muscular cause where the muscles around the eyes themselves are affected leading to a squint. The most common types of squint that we come across are the inward type of squint what we call scientifically esotropia, outward kind of squint which is a divergent squint what we scientifically call exotropia. There can be a vertical misalignment where the eyes are misaligned along the vertical plane. One eye may be higher than the other eye. Or there can be complex squints which varies depending upon the cause and presentation. Lastly, abnormal shaking of eyes called nystagmus is also considered to be an abnormality of neuromuscular system of the eye. It becomes very important to identify, correctly diagnose and provide timely treatment to squint as squint which is left untreated directly affects the visual development of a child and affects the visual potential in a young adult. I would like to briefly mention as when it is the ideal time to meet your squint specialist or to visit a pediatric ophthalmologist. When as a parent or as a relative you observed squint in a child's eye for the first time or it is getting easily picked up in the pictures or when there is a strong family history of squint. Also, if the child is complaining of double vision after fever or spontaneously or after eye injury, it becomes a mandate for you to get a squint evaluation done. Abnormal shaking of eyes, as mentioned before, should also be consulted at the earliest with a squint specialist. 